All right. Not a lot of grass left there. What's it called? Rye? Rhizoctonia. I'm going to call it... brown patch. Brown patch. I'm going to call it brown patch. You I'm going to call it Rhizoctonia. Yeah, okay. Yeah. G'day, guys. Clint here from Lawn Hub, and we're down at Holdfast again today to catch up with Max. Uh, just doing a very quick video to explain brown patch. That's what I'm calling it, because I can't remember the word. Max will talk to you a bit more about it, and um, I guess why it's problematic on bowls greens and how they treat it. So talk to me about brown patch. Yeah, so we commonly get brown patch or Rhizoctonia solani in winter. Um, it'll, it'll ger oh, no, uh, not germinate, but it'll occur. Like it occurs. Yeah, it'll, it'll, that's right. It'll occur in sort of when the temperatures start to dip. Yep. So because we're so low cut and we pressure this, this green so hard with yep. rolling and compaction and we don't treat and it play. all that well. Yeah. And the play and the, f yeah, everything that we do to it is detrimental. It's like your body saying, so I've like got stress? a cold. Yeah. yeah. I've got a cold. Yeah. And I've got a cold sore coming and up. And it displays, it, 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 exactly. it occurs as, yep. as these, as these, you were that's saying right. dinner plates before? Yeah. So the dinner plate size, generally that's called dinner plate size. That's my size dinner plate. Yeah. <laughs> that's like your Hungry Jack's plate. <laughs> yeah. So. They say it's like dinner size plates, dinner plate size. But, because um, you've got so, like you can see there's yeah, a lot more. Yeah, you can see they all grow yep. in a similar pattern. Yep. Um, they usually come out in a circle like this. They call it brown patch. Um, you can actually smell it when you come out into the green when it's first come out. Yep. Um, because it's fungal? Yeah, it's it, fungal. it smells bad. Yeah, it's a fungal yep. disease. So yep. it's the most common disease that we see in bowling greens. Um, and it, yeah, like I said, it comes out in winter, but if you're not on top of it with your preventative beforehand you'll still get a little bit of it so can you pre-emerge you sort of can yep but or only to a certain yep. degree yeah so we put in place spraying programs from january february march yep. leading up into winter yep but we will still get some of it yep. and this one just copped it last year yep. around about easter which was very early we got yep. a cold snap yep came in was angry it looked horrible it was orange yep. it was bright orange yep. you can see it like like really angry yep um so we sprayed it with um curative three or four times over the next few months. You spray the whole green? Yeah, you spray don't, the whole you green. You don't spot spray yeah, it? Yeah, no, it's too many of them. Like yep. you can see over there, it just came out like, broke out like a rash yep. basically. And and that's that's now called scarring. So it's done damage in there um, to the crown and it's just not recovered. Yep. So the spring that we had to the start with September and uh, October were very cold. Didn't really, it wasn't conducive to that to grow out. Yep. November really heat up, heated up. Yeah, that's the Which first. Also didn't that's help. the first heat we've had though. But it also didn't help it's because also it was so hot. Yeah, yeah it was so hot. Yep. And then you got to keep up with your. So what does it need? Twenty-eight degrees of, of just a nice. It would be lovely like just ramp. to have a normal spring. Yeah, yeah, yep. a normal spring of like twenty to thirty degree days yep. every day yep. for the like for a few weeks and a little bit of rain thrown in there like we used to get. So a homeowner nice. is very unlikely to get this on their lawn. Um, you can get it. Um, it's probably still one of those most common things in in lawns. Um, in disease land. From South Australian climates yeah, South more than Australian anywhere? Like obviously the, the dry, northern... Dry, cold. Yep. Dry than yep. cold. Um, but yeah, it's the it's the moisture overnight that sits sits around and, and that's what brings in the... So a good argument not to water at night? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so the they say that uh, you need 10 hours of leaf moisture yep. for fungal spores to activate. Okay. So. Um, that's, uh, and I we obviously have right. long nights. That's right. Winter. So you, do, you get the dewy morning. Yep. If you don't take the dew off with the dew roller on grains and golf grains, yep. ovals, yep. that's when you really get that um, that fungal pressure because you're leaving it for way too long with water on the leaf. Cool. So, so that's brown patch. Uh, as with any videos, if you're enjoying this content, please subscribe or follow the page. If you've got any questions, DM our Facebook or comment in the section below, and Max will be all over it. <laughs>